All right, we're still at the SHOT Show and we're still with Kurt from Stone Glacier. They're introducing a new quilt. Uh, it's coming out in March's time yep. frame. I'll let Kurt go over the specs. Okay, so as far as the specs, we, spe uh, we stuck with the same construction that we use on our sleeping bag, same Pertex fabric, uh, same hydrophobic down. One of the things that when we went through on the design process was we included the articulated foot box. So it has, has room for your feet up at the top, your toes. The other thing that we did throughout the quilt was continue to use articulated or our differential cut. So the inside patterns are smaller than the outside patterns. So when your feet go up against the end, you don't compress the down. And we did the same thing through the shoulders. So it'd be a little bit tough to see, but you can see the patterning is not a flat pattern. It's much more like our sleeping bag. So it has the, the curvature of your shoulders as it comes back around and then comes back up to the neck, to the neck collar. On the back side, one of the things I really wanted to do was the ability to be able to close off the bottom and bring it as close to a sleeping bag as you could in colder conditions. So you have four different straps. The very bottom one has the adjustable strap that would go around the sleeping pad. The center one is, next one up is just for your width. Another one for the sleeping pad. And then the top one is also for your width. And then as we come up to the neck area, you have a snap button for behind your ear, or behind your neck, excuse me. But we also have our stretch collar, very similar to what we're using on our sleeping bag with a magnetic closure. This way you can completely seal off. So in really cold conditions, you're able to close it all up very close to what you can do with a sleeping bag. And loft is also very similar to our 15. Uh, just less down, narrowed up the baffles just a little bit, keep down the migration. This is the same exact waterproof down that's in the sleeping bags, that correct? That is, yep, and, and all of our down products. We use and same down. Same down plus. and everything. Yep, 850 plus. And then we did, uh, they're, they're, go ahead. Mesh pockets? Mesh pockets? Oh, the mesh baffles. Oh, the baffles. Yep, yep, the baffles that... Uh, that are in between it's a really fine downproof mesh and that's what keeps the migration down if you ever want to see what this down can do you can go on stone glacier they did a rewarming drill and it's pretty impressive if this isn't your grandpa's down this stuff's pretty impressive um what's the price point kurt i don't have that for you <laughs> you have to check on their website and yeah. you said mid-march yeah mid-march and that's when we'll have final pricing as well and i've i've uh i've kind of bitched about about quilts using them getting chill having this two-step thing on the bottom part or on this part where you can suck this to the pad and then suck this to your body i think that'll that'll help you on the drafts yeah and you said you took this down pretty cold wearing your guys's down outfit yeah so i used it pretty much all year up through no later november when it started getting down into the single digits and once it got colder i would just layer up with my down layers and it, it worked really well and it was just a nice spot because you got to use the same gear that you have in your pack at night. I'm sure you covered it, but it's 22 ounces. 22 ounces, yep. Thank you for saying that. Yep. Thanks a lot.